Hello everyone. For our devotional exercise, my family and I, and by extension, the Beulah SDA Church, are praying for the Russians and Ukrainians. I am certain you'll agree with me that the current turmoil needs to end. Lives are being taken. Buildings are being destroyed. Refugees are running for their lives. And the world is affected. Therefore, we need to unite in prayer. We believe that greater power is associated with united prayer. Acts 12, 5 states, So Peter was kept in prison, but earnest prayer for him was made to God by the church. The church united in prayer, and God delivered Peter. Matthew 21, 22 says, Whatever you ask in prayer, you will receive if you have faith. It is God's will that we live peaceably with all men. So let's unite in faith. God will hear and answer. Let's engage in a chain prayer. You can add your prayer in the comments section. A sentence or two asking for God's intervention so that peace can be restored. Let's pray together. Father, we come humbly before you to present the people of Ukraine who are experiencing deaths and conflicts. May your peace reach every heart. Please be merciful and provide relief. May your peace dwell among us and help us to unite. Be with the leaders as they make decisions. In Jesus' name, amen. God, thank you for this day. Thank you for all you've done for us. Please help the children of Ukraine and please help them to remember that you are with them. In Jesus' name I pray, amen. 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 Lord, your word reminds us that we wrestle not against flesh and blood, but against principalities and powers in high places. But your word also reminds us that you are far above principalities and powers. So we know we serve a powerful God, an all-powerful God. So we call on you to bring peace between the Russians and Ukrainians. In Jesus' name I pray. Amen. Please unite with us in prayer by typing a sentence or two in the comments. God bless you.